video is to make your first sounds on the clarinet, just using the mouthpiece, the reed, and the barrel. So here I have those three things. I have the mouthpiece, the reed is already attached using the ligature, and I have the barrel connected as well. And now's a good time to make sure that you've recently wetted your reed because that is how you can make the best sound possible. So you're gonna go ahead and place these in your left hand and you wanna form your embouchure ahead of time. You remember the ooh? And the way that I like to get my lips or embouchure into that position is to pretend like I'm blowing across a really small straw, like one of those stir stick straws at a coffee shop. So if this was my little straw, I'm gonna put it flat on my chin and blow straight across. This is the perfect shape for a clarinet mouthpiece, or embouchure, I should say. When you're ready in this position, take your mouthpiece and you're gonna put it inside your mouth. And now I should stop just to show you how much mouthpiece to put in your mouth. A really good rule of thumb is if you squint and see where the reed touches the mouthpiece, it's gonna be probably about a half inch down or so, that's where your lower lip should be. One way to really see this clearly is to use a piece of paper and a pencil. And you can carefully slide the piece of paper between your reed and mouthpiece. And just without pushing, see where it naturally stops. And that is pretty close to where the reed and the mouthpiece meet. Then you're gonna take a pencil and draw a line right there on your reed. Okay, remove the paper. And I'm gonna use my thumb to help me guide my mouth down that far, and that's where my lower lip should be. And my lower lip in the embouchure position is halfway over my bottom teeth. Your bottom teeth should never touch your reed. Okay, we're gonna put the mouthpiece in now. And then your top teeth do sit on top of the mouthpiece, just that far down. So let's try that one more time. I can see that line I made. My thumb is gonna guide me there. And once I feel my thumb, I'm going to stop pushing the mouthpiece in. And then I close all the way around. The way I like to pretend is like pulling the drawstrings on a hoodie and your hood gets tight around your head. That is how the sides and top of your lips should close around the clarinet mouthpiece. And once you're in that position, we're gonna go ahead and take a big deep breath using the corners and top lip around the mouthpiece open, go deep into our bellies, and then we're gonna blow steady, fast air right into the mouthpiece between the reed and mouthpiece and make a really nice sound. It's gonna be kind of high and chirpy and a little annoying to your family at home, perhaps, but I'll, I'll demonstrate a really good clarinet sound. So it's really kind of shrill, but it's nice because when you do play with the barrel, it's not as bad as just the mouthpiece alone, which is really high. So it's kind of more pleasant on the ear just to use the barrel with the mouthpiece. So I'd love for you to practice getting a really strong steady sound without any interruptions and consistently finding that place where you've drawn your line, placing your top teeth on top, pulling your drawstrings around your lips to cover the mouthpiece and seal up any air from going outside the mouthpiece. You want all your air to go in. And you should be getting an F sharp, whether you have a tuner to check that or a piano, you can play an F sharp. And if you're getting a nice steady boat sound, that's a great place to begin.